Hey everybody. Yeah, man, I feel, um, I feel like being a little bit different today. Um, I want to like, these guys have sat there for a while, so I'm going to pick up that little Black Beauty right behind me and maybe mess around with some stuff. I have no plan today. Um, I feel like, uh, Someone just asked me, what's the theme? And I love that that's even a notion that there could be a theme to this. And I feel like if it's anything, it's, uh, first of all, uh, to all you amazing moms out there, um, thank you for the life that you've given us, uh, both creating us uh, and then also just raising us and rearing us. Um, for all of those of you who uh, have lost your moms, uh, an extra heaping dose of love to you guys. Um, if you feel the pain and the loss, that is something to celebrate because that means that you were loved dearly and deeply. So, <clears throat> I don't know man, today uh, I felt like just being a little bit different. Um, we could start off with something that we were celebrating last week. I feel like, if, like I said, if there's going to be a theme, it's uh, show your work. And because all of us are works in progress. And I feel like there's uh, a cool opportunity for us to just be like, um, here's where I'm at, as opposed to, let me show you the finished product, right? Um... So, you know, to kind of strip things back and, and I have a tendency to always want everything to be fully finished and polished and perfect before I share it with anybody. And I've got a lot of unfinished songs. I've got a lot of songs that have been coming to me uh, throughout this whole period. And I feel like uh, <laughs> that there's an opportunity to just kind of uh, share some of those with you guys. And, and if nothing else, it's a, it's a great way for you guys to go uh, lean into that more. We, we like, we like that. Um, or that's, you know, or maybe, maybe we, we collaborate and it's like someone finished this song for me. That's what I would love for this thing to be. Stripe Sock Radio is not about me sitting in my room and picking up a guitar and playing songs. I think this is about how do we make everything we do interactive? How can we all create together? And we, we showed the beauty of that when we did Breathe. It's something that happened here in isolation with me, but it became something incredible and amazing because of you guys. So maybe we can do more stuff like that. Um, but that whole thing literally started just with, just breathe, open the window to see. Sun is still shining outside Even though it feels so dark inside Pick up the phone hates me Just thought I'd ring you to see We happen to recall the time
call now Call now Call now Call now You guys were singing on that. So that's not always perfect. That's like what makes it real, you know? You hit the hit wrong notes. So James Bowen, who played guitar on that song, said, um, A good song is one that you can play on a single instrument in front of a fire. And I'm like, oof, I can get behind that for real. So here's one that I've been just came to me, and I, I feel like it might almost be done. Um, they don't only smuggle. They don't know, don't always sparkle. There it is. Don't always shine. But I know they're out there. Every night. So say goodnight to your stars. I say the same to mine. I'll be here waiting on the other side So send my love to your moon You send the same to mine And I'll be here waiting on the other side Always be waiting on the other side. I'm still here waiting. Simple. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of digging that one. 
Um, so I kind of wanted to fire up the old Black Beauty for a little bit and just kind of see, I feel like noodling a little bit. Um, <laughs> uh, I have no idea what's going to come out. Uh, but if you guys are down to just kind of hear the running thoughts in my head, um, it'd be cool. So, Orange Sky, I'll look it up. YouTube channel soon? Maybe? Let's noodle, right? Okay, yeah, sorry. Um, so... Let's see. Yeesh. Everybody calm down. Make sure we're in tunesies. Are we not in tune? Mm. There you go, buddy. Hello. Wake up, tuner. being weird. Maybe we won't do that. Shit's live, y'all. Why are you being weird, you? Need to go to the corner for a little bit? There you go, you seem to be paired a little bit, didn't you? This guitar has a tendency to go out of tune very easily. So against the piano, aren't I? Get that that close. She shuffles her feet as she crosses Seventh Street. She stares about the line, wishing all with her mind. She does this every time. The ordinary life to mess a reason with a rhyme. Does it every time? She turns water in the wine. She makes for the battery
jazzy sound. See what you guys are prattling on about. Socks are awesome. These socks are courtesy of uh, David C. Houston. All right, so let's see if we can do this. This will be fun. Someone give me a word. And so Paul 
I was like, hey man, I really need someone to do a screaming, like little violin solo thing. So he goes, okay. And like two days later, he goes, I wasn't really getting anywhere free balling it. So I just ended up doing a full string section. And he laid down all the strings and the viola and everything. Uh, I think a buddy of his did the viola. Um, so that's, those are live strings. Those are live strings, live horns, and sure shit, live singers. Um, so, uh, can you find the Winter of the Abbey vinyls in Greece? The only vinyls right now are in that closet right over there. Uh, and they're waiting to be mailed out by yours truly. Um... I can't play drums, more is all I need. I started off playing drums, actually. Acoustic or electric, I normally go to, um, I normally go to uh, uh, acoustic. I'm just more comfortable on it. a song
that you chose. I just realized that's done in capo two. Oh, dude, that song off uh, OK Computer, Exit Music for a Film, which was originally written for Romeo and Juliet and was rejected. Um, that's 100% that song. Yeah, it's supposed to be like, wink. Wink. Or here, right here, right? Wink. From your sleep. Dry your tears. It's really hard to do without a capo. Um, yeah, dude, Radiohead song for real. How you guys doing? Talk show is my favorite Radiohead song. Oh man, that song. Whenever it shows up, it's always, always. Beautiful. It's like super vibey, man. Kick back and play you guys if that's cool with you. Just kind of see what what uh, what happens.
No, it's just reversed. <laughs> I really like this time with you guys. <clears throat> it's fun. It's uh, it's encouraging. It's challenging. Um, It's kind of one of those things where honestly, you guys could just, um, if you wanted to, yeah, I'll just show you my ass. Hmm. Um, if you wanted to, just like whatever you want to do, like you just be sitting back, chilling, talking to your friends, and this can fall the backdrop. Um, because the reality is. I would be doing this anyway, I just decided to turn this thing on and let you be a part of it. Because what I want to do is connect. And what I want to do is just uh, share even the bad stuff or the unfinished stuff. I want to show my work. Um, I've got so many unfinished songs. I almost have a tendency to play in the key of D um, because, I don't know, for some reason it was the first, I, I never, I, I, mean, I grew up with, with an organ in my house uh, for some reason, I have no idea why, and my mom was the secretary at, at the church that we went to and so I would spend a lot of time running up, um, running around there and there was a piano there and no one could keep me from playing that so that's what I did to entertain myself was just play the piano and for some reason um the, the key of D just like I, I learned that that chord D made the most sense to my brain and so I just learned okay so the key of D and you also have then have G and A and then the six is B minor and I would just transpose every, it was easier for me to transpose every song into the key of D <laughs> than to learn what actual key was in. So C is actually the hardest key for me to play in, even though it's the most easy thing. For me, it's always about C. And same thing with guitar, the key of E or key of G is easy for me. I hate playing in C. I, I'll, I'll almost never write a song in C. The only song that I wrote in C um, was uh, Late Night Last Minute, and that was done with a capo, I think. Um, I do if I hit a miracle way. Journey. I know that one by. It's my new mic. I love it. Whoop, whoop. There it is. Mm, sounds so good. D flat major is my key. D flat major. What are you talking about? C sharp. It's all. It's like all blacks, right? The all blacks, like a New Zealand football team, rugby team. Um, do I want to do that one again? Because I did that last time. That was fun. 
Hyde Park. Hyde Park was originally... One of the bad version. That song sounded like and the story of that was when we were originally tracking the record John who's gonna play that on the piano of course far better than me um, couldn't that night and he was just out so uh, what it ended up happening is James Bowen while we were trying to figure out what we we're gonna do sat down at the piano and played that beautiful piano piece unknown caller and well that's a whole other story but Cut to when we were doing the um, the uh, background vocals for uh, Common Ground and Promise at Capitol Records. We had time to kill because we just, we everybody crushed it. We went through it so fast. So we ended up saying, well, what else do we want to do? And um, uh, Josh Valle, who, who was just everything on that record. He was the glue, man. Um, he... Went across the street to Wayne's studio, Selma Studios. Picked up the acoustic, came back. We quickly set it up. A very similar mic to that, uh, using the Frank Sinatra chain, uh, which is a 251 through a 175 and a Fairchild 660, I think. No, I can't remember. Um, and we did, for the first time, he, he just picked up that guitar and just started playing it and that's what came out so happy accidents um which i think it's not in here there's a book that i read that said we can all be walking around as spectacular accidents that was cool um that last song is called hyde park um oh all right Come here, Black Beauty. I need a 
tune this bitch. Hold on a second. Yeah, this, that feels fitting. The dearly departed uh, Jeff Buckley played it on a uh, Rickenbacker 360, I think, but... to the end 
not going to play in the bit room. <laughs> I love that because there's a little vibe of Buckley in with the hat makes a little bit Leonard Cohen. And there's a song that I've been working on that is just straight up Leonard Cohen, man. Um... <laughs> I've said goodbye to most every vice that kept me from peaceful sleep. I traded truth for singing lies, found the slope before it gets too steep. And now we're on the other side, with just some songs that cut too deep. So it's too for them. Maybe one for me. That's all I got so far. So, um, think about since we're in the key of C. better, right? Sky. 
Thank you guys for hanging out. This has been Stripe Sock Radio. I'll see you next Sunday. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay connected. Thank mm-hmm. you.